Hi everybody, welcome back to another video with Royals of Civil. In the last video, I did a theory on virtual work and I also uh, went over an easy problem and if you didn't see that video, I recommend you watch that video because I talk more about the theory in that video and the question I'm doing is simpler if so. If you understand that question, you understand this question that I'm going to do right now better. And therefore this question is a little bit more diverse and next question I'm going to do is I believe either a more diverse one or it's a frame. And let's start this problem. So this problem example 2. So this problem, uh, you need to find slope and displacement at point P. By what? By method of virtual work. Use virtual work. Let's draw the picture. So we have a, I believe we have a fixed end. We have a fixed. But then, on this fixed end, we have a pin. And this is, you need to be very careful when doing this problem, deciding, judging whether this is fixed or pin. So the picture looks like this. So, this means that on the wall, there is a pin horizontally. And then there is a beam connected to this. And the beam is free at the end. We call this A, we call this B. The distance from here to here is 3 meter. We have a point load at B which is 400 Newton and we have a distributed load from A through B which is 300 Newton per meter okay now we need to solve this one and how we can solve so what they want we have to go back to the question they want slope and displacement what is the slope? theta and what is displacement? delta and you need to remember the formula from the last video where I talked the theory. But I'm going to write about the formula again if you in case you're not remembering it. So method of virtual work as I said we have to cut the real beam and the virtual beams. Why virtual beams? Because right here we're finding slope and displacement. And for a slope we have to add a unit moment and for this placement, we have to add a unit load. So let's go ahead, cut the real beam and do the virtual work on it. Free body one. So in free body one, all loadings are there. So we know that in this distributed load is there 300 We know that there is a point load of 400 Then we have to do a static equilibrium to find the reactions at point A And I think you're all familiar with this at this point So I'm not going to do it, the static equilibrium Simply taking the moment at B. 
so we get uh, think 1300 newton going upward and the moment we get clockwise counterclockwise and the value should be two five five zero newton meter well, 2550 newton meter and similarly the distance is again three meter now we have to cut where should we cut? Since this is only one segment, we can cut anywhere we want in the middle. So I'll cut right there, right? And I call here X1. This forces here to be M1. Why capital M? Because if you remember from formula, real loading and real beam, we use the capital M. While the virtual world uses the small m1. Now it's simple from here. We have to find the m1. How we find m1? We have a distributed load right here. So this distributed let me find this one for you. But in the other ones I let you solve this one. So look, I'm gonna show you a trick right here uh, because they said find the slope and displacement at point B this top where we were confused only for this problem so where we were confused whether it's pin or fixed and we wanted to find the reaction we don't need to do any of these we simply don't need to do any of it because we're finding a slope and displacement at D and if we cut it this way we don't even have to look at whether that's a pin or fixed or finding the reaction so we don't have to look at the reaction right here we only have a 400 right 400 the distance is X right and right here there was 300 right uh, so 300 so we have it 300 X right now we want to find what M1 simple and this M1 how we have to find so we know that the distance of this is X and the distance of this is X over 2 right x over 2 so we say m1 is clockwise so negative m1 this is counterclockwise minus 300 x times x over 2 sorry plus plus 400 x equals to zero this force is m1 equals to negative 150x square plus 400x and that's our m1 which we are going to call it equation one So you can see that this one it's a little bit more diverse since it has a point load on it and it has a distributed load but only one segment and you're able to simply find that and we don't even have to waste our time finding the reaction right there. But if your teacher wants you all of the work you may need to find it. But for my teacher we only needed to find uh, my professor when I was a student you only need to find what was needed and not wasting our time on other things so this is one case that where if you're finding a slope and displacement at b and you cut it this way you don't have to find the reaction that way now that we find our 
uh, moment for the real loading and the real beam we have to draw the free body for the virtual beam and which one doesn't matter any of them I am going to draw it for displacement first so virtual work for delta F B D always right as I said for this one you don't have to for virtual beams you don't have to uh, draw uh, the real loading and we only have to draw a point load a unit load at the location that we're finding our displacement or slope for displacement for slope we draw a unit moment so right here we're finding our displacement at point b so this was a this was b so we draw one newton see simple and then as i said if you cut you have to cut the same way you cut this one x1 you don't have to find the reactions although that the reactions are easy is one and uh, three but you don't have to find it because we're only looking at this way and this is what m2 small m and what is m2 we can right away see that m2 equals to negative x so equation 2 now that we found m1 m2 what is next as i know you know virtual work for theta the slope now now for theta f e d sorry my handwriting is a little bit messy again we don't have to find the reaction for a so we just write a b and in B, unit moment, one kilo newton meter. We call it same way x, and <laughs> this is even simpler. M three equals to negative one, and that our equation three. We're almost done with, so if I was your professor and grading you, if you did it this far, you get most of the points. But after this, it's only formulas and plugging in. Let's move on to the next part, the formulas. So, first they want us to find the slope. So, for slope right for slope it we have to use the formula so one times theta b why b because we're finding it at b equals to as i said before zero to l but right here l is what the length of the beam which is three so zero to three m m over e i what is m a small m is for slope and what is a small m for slope m3 so m3 is what negative 1 large m is always the same which is for real loading this one so negative 150 x square negative 400 so I distribute it in the negative x over EI and right here EI was EI constant why EI constant we got the thickness of the beam is not changing and the 
say that in the equation and the problem when they give it to you. Don't worry about it. And dx done. We're done. Plug it into calculator. You get theta b equals to on five newton meter square over e i. You're done. What's next? Displacement. Similar. 1 times delta B. Let me write the formula for this one. So in case you don't have it. 0 to L. M M. Over E I. D X. So 0 to L is 0 to 3. Negative X. We got M 2 negative x for displacement for delta and that same negative 150x squared negative 400x over ei dx and again this gives us delta b to be 6637.5 newton meter cube over ei And that's the answer if you like this video please go ahead give a like and subscribe I'll be do more videos on all of structure analysis and also similarly any civil engineering class so stay tuned if you want to see those videos I believe if anyone comes to my channel without any knowledge of engineering and looks at all of these videos that I'm making and learn them they automatically become a civil engineer although they don't have a degree and if you also want me to do any problem comment below and I'll respond and do it as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day